So one of the things that I've had requested from several people with this um, budget challenge, this grocery budget challenge, and if you are new to my channel, by the way, I'm Megan and welcome. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, I will pop a link up at the top so you know what in the world I'm talking about, but I am doing a grocery budget challenge this month. But a lot of people have asked to see kind of what I'm working with, what's in my pantry, um, things like that, pantry, freezer, whatever. Um, and so that's what I'm going to show on this video. So hang tight and I'll show you what's coming. I had a request just to show what I already have on hand. Some of it at this point has been used. Um, but basically we have, um, I think I bought those for like a casserole that I was supposed to make for something. I've got two bags of frozen Brussels sprouts up here. This is frozen chicken breast. A couple more frozen chicken breasts. Some frozen butter. Um, this right here is a Ziploc full of um, beef cabbage soup that I made. Um, this is frozen tomatoes. This is spaghetti sauce that I made in my batch cooking video. This is all frozen fruits. Um, a bag of frozen pecans and some frozen bacon. And that's all that's in this one. Oh, um, I also have, you know, the essentials, some um, coffee beans that are frozen in here as well. Um, oh, and frozen carrots and my yeast because it keeps it alive longer and better, I have found. Anyway, so that's what's in the freezer up here. We do have a little bit in the freezer downstairs, so I'll show you that. So as far as the fridge, this is the milk that I bought last week that we already had. Um, and then this is kind of the stuff that we are already using. So this is um, our leftovers that are waiting for leftover night. This I thawed out overnight to use for our Tuscan soup tonight. So that'll be gone soon. Um, and then just leftover mac and cheese. One is vegan mac and cheese because Lily is dairy free. Um, so then down here we've got just jelly. There's our sausage we bought. Um, some of the chicken breast and the bacon. Um, a lot of the blueberries are gone. I had a butternut squash from our Misfits Market um, that I cooked so that I can use that in place of noodles for chicken parmesan for myself. Um, that's the new eggs I bought. I can't remember if I said that. Um, asparagus. Um, some of the eggs, these are the ones from my uncle. They're just in these containers. Um, carrots and celery, all of this kind of stuff, which this is a lot of what we eat as like snacks and um, with lunches and stuff. There's a bag of spinach right here that I bought last week before the challenge um, that we are going to eat in salads. Uh, this wouldn't fit in our cheese drawer, which is right here. Um, the deli meat and cheese and stuff like that is in there. Um, ooh, I about fell over. Okay, so our oranges are almost gone. Our apples are almost gone. Those apples are pretty big, so they usually just split them. These are left over from last week before the challenge. Somehow, I think they got shoved back there and they forgot about them. Um, down in here is like our kale and... Um, lettuce and that is an onion these onions that misfits market sent us are humongous um they're like the size of two regular size onions each so anyway so that's in there so that is what is in the fridge and then of course we've got all of these like condiment top things this is my seeds for the garden i keep them in here i always have in fact this is kind of cool okay so my grandma passed away four years ago 
Yes, I think that's right. Anyway, these are the same seeds that she used in her garden. Um, and I use them every year. Um, and I think they had these seeds for several years before my grandma even passed away because I'm pretty sure my granddad bought these. And he died a few years before her. So, yeah, so we keep our seeds in the fridge and I guess it like kind of keeps them fresh or whatever, but um, we always have really good yield. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. So this whole thing is like full of my seeds. There's more. Um, so we just keep them in here. So fun fact, if you want to keep your seeds, maybe keep them in the fridge because it's worked for us. Anyway, so um, that needs to be thrown away. Oh. Anyway, um, so that is what's in the fridge. So I went into the kitchen to film what I already have in my pantry. And now we are at this point because my cabinets were in such disarray. I just couldn't even go any further until I went through them. So that's what's happening now. I will show you the after. And when I show you the after, I will show you what I have in my pantry to work with for this pantry challenge. <laughs> So I have been through all of my cabinets and gotten things semi-organized. Um, okay, so I have discovered I have a spice problem. Um, and I went through these and whittled down quite a bit of them. Um, but I use all of these, so I can't get rid of any of those. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, so there's the spices. Um, and then I have some chicken broth here. Um, just different, the condiments are there, extra condiments. Then I have a can of kidney beans left and a can of black eyed peas. I have those that I bought a while back for um, chicken casserole and that's when I bought this as well. Um, the tuna that I bought in my haul there's another pack of tuna. That is diced tomatoes. This is that Rotel top stuff. And then this. Um, coconut milk. Pumpkin puree. And that is what is in this cabinet. Then over the top of here is pretty much any kind of vinegar that you could think of. Including rice vinegar. Um, sesame oil. Coconut aminos, which we use in place of soy sauce. Balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, all of that stuff. Um, and then like breadcrumbs and tea, which I always forget we have that and we never make it. So that is that cabinet. So I just keep our olive oil beside the stove, but, um, and we're starting to run about halfway on it. But I keep all of commonly used spices, my most common used ones, right beside the stove right there. Um, this is a lot of baking stuff. So um, several bags of flour, two half bags of regular like all-purpose flour, plus a full one, um, a little less than half of bread flour, a little less than half of self-rising flour, um, this is what Tanner likes to put on his toast. He made this blend in his cooking class this year at our co-op. Um, our vanilla sea salt because it wouldn't fit with the other stuff. Um, this is cornmeal. And then these are quart jars of raw honey. And then, um, sorghum. We call it molasses, but whatever. We live in the south, so. Um, coconut oil and hot honey that John got from my cousin for Christmas and I can't wait to try that stuff. We haven't tried it yet, we need to. Okay, so up here, this is all, this whole row is baking powder, baking soda, cornstarch, nutritional yeast, chia seeds. This is like canning stuff, just extra ground black pepper and sea salt. Um, and then this is like all the noodles and, um, 
quinoa. There's a little bit of quinoa. Um, wild rice. Jasmine rice. I think this is lo mein. Whoa. Yes, and I had forgotten that this was even up here until I went through it earlier. So the kids will be excited about that because we'll have to put that on the meal plan. We love our spicy lo mein. Then there's a couple of different types of noodles up there. And then gluten-free noodles and just spaghetti noodles. So that's what's in this one. So disclaimer before I show you this, well, I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so yes, this looks insane and ridiculous. I promise these will probably last us like months, literally. The only reason that I got all of these is because Around Thanksgiving, they had some like special sale at Kroger. I think it was Thanksgiving. Maybe it was before Christmas. I don't know. Some special sale for a holiday. And I walked into Kroger and they had all of these 99 cents a bag. And so I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and get them while they're 99 cents a bag. And then when we want to make cookies just throughout the year or whatever, we can make them. So, I mean, literally, that will probably last us months and months. So, then we have some cocoa powder. We have some coconut flake, unsweetened coconut flake. Satan sugar. <laughs> um, coconut sugar, which isn't that much better, but uh, it makes me feel a little better. Um, <clears throat> rolled oats more rolled oats, old fashioned oats, and powdered sugar is back there. So this is kind of like my baking stuff. Um, the corn tortillas I bought. And I think we had one flour tortilla left after taco knot the other night. So I guess I will make all the enchiladas out of those and hope that we have enough. Um, and that's all we have left of the bread, but I did make two loaves of bread tonight. And then this is kind of like your snack thing. We have had some of this snack stuff, y'all, for like so long. I mean, my kids like to snack, but they don't, I guess they don't as much as what I thought they did. I, I guess they usually just snack on like fruit. Like today they had, they each split an apple. Um, so anyway, so we've got some ah, goldfish. Most of it is big bars that I bought at Costco like a month ago, I think. Um, there are a few pouches of steel cut oats in here. Um, and then these are the microwave popcorn that I get them from time to time for snacks. So, and see, for snack, like, all of them will pretty much split one bag of popcorn sometimes we do too but I mean they like to snack but they're not heavy snackers so that's a good thing I guess um okay so this is all that's left of the chips I guess I, well I had bought two bags and the men I call them men the boys and my husband and Lily um were here last night and had the taco knot the deer taco knot that was on the menu um, and Sophia and I went out with my mom. She took us to a movie and to dinner. Um, and so I guess they ate both bags. I don't know, but, um, that's all that's left. So, um, I guess some of the boys ate nachos instead of tacos. Um, and then we have peanut butter, which this is about halfway full. And then this is crunchy peanut butter back here and it's almost empty. This stuff is like vitamins and baby food kind of stuff. I won't need baby food. Noah is just starting baby food. And I'm trying to give him like actual pieces of real food. Um, but this will last him a long time. Um, anyway, so it's like vitamins. And this is essential oils. And there's more essential oils back there. And then this is our, we use these. I order these off of Etsy. So, yeah, these are great um, because it has all the stuff. And so all you do is just add the amount of water and however much honey that you want to put in yours. And you have elderberry syrup. So if you're looking for 
some really good quality elderberry syrup without it being like pre-packaged and you don't want to buy all the elements separately because I have bought it that way before but it's just kind of nice to have everything all together and all you do is just dump it in a pot and go um, so anyway so that's everything that's in this cabinet so this is all that is left down here see i'm in my laundry area down here <laughs> i'm not going to show you the whole thing it's just a net like dank dark basement kind of unfinished area for my laundry room but anyway um so this is all that's left of what we canned this summer we did eat a big one and a small one the other night with our pot roast um so this is what we have left of what i canned this summer um, I do have, let me move this over here, a big jar of pickles. Ooh, there might be more than one big jar. Two and three jars of pickles. Oh, that makes me happy. These pickles turned out so good this year. Anyway, so that's what we have um, down here as well. Okay, and beside the light bulbs, <laughs> we've got two bags of beans and some rice. That is brown jasmine rice. Um, some beef stock, some tomatoes, beans, more beans. Um, oh, I didn't know we still have this. Cool. All right, and some more honey. Um, and one more bottle of coconut aminos, some tomato paste, and that is diced tomatoes right there. So that's what we have down here. I'm trying to think if we have any. I don't see anything else on the shelf. I just see jars and chalk and more canning stuff and more light bulbs um and an empty is this empty? no it has two sleeves of Ritz crackers well there you go that's what's down here and the last thing is down here in the garage we have this extra freezer um and this is all our deer meat there are deer steaks underneath all of that Actually, no, sorry, the deer steaks are in this, um, and that's all ground. Bag of ice, um, sweet carrots. There is a bag of frozen, this stuff is so good, seven grain bread that I got at Costco. Um, an unopened bag of broccoli down here. Um, thought we had don't. I thought we had frozen green beans. Maybe we used um, some frozen peas. More frozen peas. A whole frozen chicken back there. And a frozen. Okay. So that's what is down here. So see, we are pretty well stocked and that's that's why I need to blow through this stuff. Okay, There's guys, so if you made it to the end, <laughs> thanks for making it to the end. But that's what I'm working with um, for this challenge. So, so there is quite a bit. Um, however, the whole point of this is just for me to lower my budget for this month and purge and get rid of as much of, well, use, not purge so much, use as much as I can during this um, budget challenge just to make way for new fresh stuff in the freezer and um, before you know it it'll be time to start planting the garden and all of that kind of stuff so that is the purpose and we're gonna go with it that's why I said I really think I can actually get it under 400 I did go to Walmart today I had to get a loaf of bread and I got some tortilla chips and so it's three dollars fifty three cents. So three dollars and fifty three cents. And so far my total is one ninety three fifteen. So I am right under one ninety seven. Is that right? Not that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's right. So make sure to tune in next time. I think my next video I'm actually going to be sharing about Misfits Market because I've mentioned it several times. Um, so make sure you check that out. It is not a sponsored video, just so you know. I do have a referral link, but that actually saves you 25% and it doesn't cost any extra. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I hope to see you on future videos. Bye!